Greetings, fellow time travelers and everyone still stuck on Earth. This is another LinuxCollections.com how-to video for your education, information, and entertainment. Let's get rolling. Today we're looking at Ubuntu 17.04, the recent release booting from a USB stick. This is the AMD64 release. Basically, when you boot it up, you get the ability to install or try it. We're just going to try it today. This will go through here. We did edit out a little bit of blank space there for a few seconds, but now we're at the desktop. And if you run down the left, we're still on the Unity interface, the default desktop, and you can see the different options that are built in. LibreOffice, uh, Writer, Calc, Amazon is in there. We've got system settings, uh, hard drive, and uh, that's our little USB stick. But what we typically do is run through how to change your IP address. This is often sometimes required. Sometimes if you're on a network that has special considerations, you need to, uh, you don't have a, a DHCP option option that brings you to what you need and that's what we're doing today. So we're going to go ahead and go to the manual settings and put in our IP address that will let us get internet access on this box and we'll put in our gateway and then we do need to put in the DNS servers. Of course these will be different for your network but uh, these are the ones that we're using so we're just entering those in and when everything's correct we can click on the save down here and close the edit option and then we'll go into and enable the wired connection. So our connection is established and let's check out if we've got internet. We'll click on the Firefox web browser and we'll see what we get. And yes indeed we have uh, the Ubuntu uh, opening page. Just to check out another website let's check out the ever cool LinuxCollections.com. Bingo we're there. So this has been a quick quick overview of Ubuntu 17.04, what the desktop looks like, and how to change your IP address. Thanks for joining us on this journey. This is LinuxCollections.com signing off.